if you cut any hole between any two points on Earth, it's a 90-minute trip. Whoa. Oh, wait a minute. I'm now confused. Because first we were going the diameter yes. of the Earth. Yes. Okay, and that's from point to point on opposite sides. Opposite sides. But if we go up this circle and then I cut a hole. Yeah. You're not going through the center. I'm just going straight across. Straight across. But it's a much shorter distance. Yes, it is. So why wouldn't it why would it take the same amount of time? Because you're is you're there, not falling towards the center of the earth. So the gravitational difference? It's a, yes. It, the for, the force accelerating you is less. Get out. And it's less by exactly the right amount to cancel how much shorter the distance is. Come on. You stop it right now. Get out of here! gravitational physics, fun. That is amazing! Yeah. If you gather matter together in the universe, you can say, well, what shape will it take? Well, if it's rock, the rock is happy being a rock. Okay. Most asteroids just look like rocks. True. Some of them may be Idaho potatoes, but they're not spherical. Right. Because they don't have enough gravity to overcome the rock. Right. The structural integrity of the rock is what's determining the shape of the asteroid. Above a certain size, the gravity of all the material overcomes whatever the rock wants to do by itself. Mm. And the high places, the material will fall into the low places, mm -hmm. and this will continue until basically you have a sphere on your hands. Look at that. So, one of the criteria for the definition of a planet uh -huh. is, is it big enough to be a sphere? Right. Pluto satisfies that criterion. Uh-oh, watch out. But <laughs> Might have to make a retraction. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, there are other rules. Pluto fails, but it satisfies that one. Of being round. Be on being round. Uh -huh. It has enough mass for it to structurally, because this is gravity at work. Gravity <laughs> says, everybody come to the center. Mm -hmm. And there's only one shape that can get the most number of people as close to the center as they can possibly be. And that's, and that's a sphere. A sphere. Right. Exactly. If photons had a clock, the clock would never tick. Nice. Which means when I go to a mountaintop, as I did in graduate school, to observe the center of the Milky Way galaxy for stars that emitted their light 30,000 years ago, traveling through the gaps of interstellar space, and they move through space, come through Earth's atmosphere, they come down into the telescope, they reflect, go back to my detector, and land on my CCD chip. That photon, when it was born, at the star that emitted it, was detected at my telescope in the same instant. Wow. According to the photon itself. If this were mm. the size of the Earth, how far away would familiar things be if this were the size of the Earth, the actual size of the Earth? So, let me get the moon here. Okay, mm -hmm. if this is the actual size of the Earth, this is about the actual size of the moon. Okay. Okay. Rel uh, Earth, relative uh, size. Scale. Okay. Yeah. The, the moon is a little about the, the width of the United States. And that's there. about what that that's is. About what this yeah, is. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I would ask you place this at the distance you think it should be from Earth, based on everything you know. So go so ahead. So that's the size oh. of the Earth. Yeah. This and, is the size yeah, of the Yeah. So where would you put the moon in its orbit around Earth? So I, I remember I have it here. Right there. Okay. Yeah, right Chuck? So I'm trying to think because here's the deal. What we're really seeing is reflection of the sun, which means nothing. Yeah, so, that's an irrelevant exactly. thought. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but go on. Okay, I'm going to say that's the size of the Earth. Yeah. I'm going to say maybe about here. Okay. A long shot. That okay. looks like a... Uh, a, a day's flight. <laughs> <laughs> well, it takes three days to get three to the moon. Three days, right. Takes three days to get to the moon. So, so you're both wrong. Okay. Good. Okay. On this scale, mm -hmm. the moon would be 30 feet away. Holy In moly. the next room. 